Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I got you pointed at a kind of a TV screen sitting in the corner of my shack. And there's a reason for that. I've had many comments. Uh, because usually when I take a video, it's that monitor is not turned on. People ask me what it is, and or if they see it turned on, they go, what is that? I've never seen that before in my life. <clears throat> well, the real story on this monitor in the corner of my ham shack is uh, I own an ICOM 7000. Now, look, I'm going to do this by hand, so don't write me any comments about I have a shaky hand, but down here... I have an ICOM 7000. Let me kind of raise it up. See, it's scanning through the channels right now. All right. And the screen's kind of small. I've got old eyes. I can't see all those little bitty numbers and everything. So uh, one of the neat things about the ICOM uh, 7000 is that it has uh, video out. On the back of it. So I happened to be at a flea market. I was walking around and the guy had this old monitor and it had the right connections on the back. I said, well, let me give it a go and see if it'll work with this radio. In my mind, I said that. I didn't tell him that. Uh, <laughs> might have raised the price. Anyway, I uh, wanted $25 for this and uh, for this little monitor here. I don't know what that is. 15 inch, 16 inch, I, I don't know. Anyway, I never measured it uh, diagonally to find out. But, well, we can do that right now. Why not? I don't know. You don't know. We'll find out. So here we go. It is about. 14 and a half inches diagonal. So I uh, took this little monitor that you see here and I plugged it into the ICOM radio, which is right down here. Plugged it into the back. And now I have a great big screen that I can watch instead of that little bitty screen on the ICOM 7000. So for those of you that were wondering what this monitor was in the corner of the ham shack, uh, well, now you know. It's not a secret anymore. It's connected to the 7000 and I use it uh, like I am right now when I'm scanning for signals. Let me kind of turn it up. Maybe you can hear something. And again, it's just scanning around. If I hear something interesting, I'll stop it. Boy, the city of Greenville has some terrible radios, don't they? Did you hear that with the hum on it? And again, if I hear something that I want to listen to, I just push the button on the... Uh, Icon and stop scanning. So let me turn it back down. I'll kind of flip this thing around here that I got on the desk and have you look at my pretty face up here. Well preserved for my age. And there we go. And we'll even take it out here. I, you know, I'm doing this myself, so... I really don't know how it's going to come out till I look at it, but that's all I got for you today. I just told you what that was in the corner of the ham shack. Before I turn this video off, I'll point the camera there uh, from a distance so you can see where I'm talking about. Anyway, until next time, subscribe. Keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. 73 clear skies be good here's a picture of the where that monitor is located in the ham shack right over here
There it is. So now you know the secret of the strange monitor in the corner of the ham shack. Till next time, everybody be good. See y'all later.